Here are three hard truths about sports betting if you actually want to make money. I made over $40,000 in 2023 and $20,000 so far this year. And you might hear across Twitter and YouTube a ton of people telling you that sports betting is the best way to make money right now and you can make a ton of money by just, you know, tailing their picks or using this strategy or whatever it might be. And I'm one of those guys who's telling you how much money you can make betting on sports. But at the end of the day, there are a few truths to this and things that you might not quite understand until you get into it. So today I wanna to talk about those three kind of hard truths, not the most ideal things about the sports betting industry, but hopefully I can help you navigate it and find ways kind of around it or through it to help you make more money when you're betting on sports. So without further ado, let's do it. Number one here is that sports books absolutely hate winning better. So if you're looking to make consistent money like myself betting on sports and you're utilizing mathematically proven strategies, for the most part, the sports books will eventually limit you to small bet sizes or even outright ban you. This has happened to me on, you know, over 10 sports books at this point and you know, it kind of sucks, right? Because you might make a couple thousand, ten thousand, forty thousand dollars betting on sports like I did last year. But at the end of all of it, you might get limited on those platforms. For me, it was prize picks. I made over ten thousand dollars on DFS um, in a pretty quick amount of time. And prize picks pretty much said, okay, we don't want your action anymore. You can only bet twenty dollars a day now. And so obviously that's a frustrating occurrence with and in reality and truth with sports betting right now, but it shines a light on the number one thing you can do to combat this is have access to as many sports books as possible. You want to have more options. So if one book limits you, well, you can just move to the next one and continue to get money down on mathematically profitable plays. Not to mention the sign-up bonuses that you get on all of these platforms. So needless to say, it's very, very important to sign up for all of the books that you have access to. Take advantage of those bonuses. There's over like $10,000 out there just ready for you to take from the sports books, just from these sign-up bonuses alone. If you need help with that, we've got a ton of videos on this YouTube channel and also in our VIP Discord. We're happy to give you free access if you were to use our links for these sign-up bonuses. So definitely check out the link down below to the VIP Discord and you can see if you like it, it's completely free for three days. And also if you sign up for more books, and use our links or our code JUICED, we'll give you free access. Okay, second truth here is that you pretty much always need to be looking for new edges in sports betting. Unfortunately, these sports books are a profit business, right? So they're trying to mitigate as much you know, loss. They don't want their betters to be making money, whereas obviously we want to make money. So they're constantly looking for ways to reduce our edges or you know, if we find a strategy that is proven to be profitable, they will often look to, you know, get rid of that or reduce it or nerf the payouts or remove specific props from the board or whatever it might be. These sports books are smarter than you think and they are looking to reduce your edges. So it's super important to consistently be looking for new edges in the market. This gives you a leg up on the sports book, a leg up around everyone else around you, which technically is your competition. If you're able to bet on, you know, on, on an edge that most people aren't, sports books probably won't find it as fast, right? And so what I highly recommend a lot of people doing is follow as many smart, mathematically profitable bettors as you can on Twitter, on YouTube, on social media, wherever it might be, learn from them, and then also join some Discord communities that help find edges for you, right? You might be busy at work with family, whatever it is, but for instance, at Juice Bets, we have a team of sharp sports bettors that are looking for these edges for you. This is literally our job, right? You pay us monthly, we find you these edges, we make you money. That's, you know, that's pretty much the deal here, right? So I highly recommend that you join communities to help you find these new edges because it just makes things quicker and easier. You don't have to put in the time and effort to do it yourself. The third and final truth here is that bankroll management is more important than anything else in sports betting. Even if you have a mathematically profitable edge, but you're overexposing to a given game, player, team, or just on, a given, on any day, if you have too much money being deployed on that day, 
you could get completely wiped out. So managing that bankroll, even with a mathematically profitable strategy is still more important. You still need to know how to expose yourself and get volume down, right? You wanna have exposure to as many players and teams and, and profitable bets as you can, but you need to be smart about it. You need to understand how to expose to these games and not deploy too much on any given day to where if you have a bad day, you're completely wiped out. So the first step to bankroll management is to start using a unit system, right? One unit equals 1% of your bankroll. So let's say you like 10 bets and you put one unit down on each bet. That's only 10% of your entire bankroll being wagered, you know, today, right? And so it, let's say you go 0 for 10, terrible day, worst day on record. You still only lost 10% of your bankroll. It's no big deal. What we have found out is that 90% of sports bettors are overexposing by a ton on every single bet they place. If somebody has $1,000, for the most part, they will be betting at least 10% on each bet they're trying to take instead of 1%, right? You're betting 10 times what you should, and that's why people lose money, right? At the end of the day, if you have a mathematically profitable strategy, you want to reduce your exposure to bad days, right? While still getting money down. And so you wanna diversify the amount of bets that you have, more bets the better, but you're not putting too much down to where your entire bankroll is out today on three different bets. Like that is the worst thing you could possibly do because you could easily go 0 for three, even if this strategy produces a 20% ROI like what we do. It doesn't matter. I've gone 0 for 3 so many times, right? But if you reduce the amount of money that you have on those bets, get more bets down with less money on each, then you're going to start having like a diversified portfolio similar to investing, right? You don't want to just invest in two companies. You want to have a diverse portfolio. So if something goes wrong, you're not completely wiped out. Hopefully this video kind of gave you an insight into what it's like being a profitable sports better and the realities surrounding it. And also, if you're interested in becoming a profitable sports better, we have a ton of great videos on this channel. We have a course in our Discord as well that will help to take you through everything you need to know about becoming a profitable sports better. And we have that three day free trial link down below if you do want to join a community that does win betting on sports. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys next time.